The sun rises in the morning, majestically, for it's a benevolent sun. It smiles down on the people of Tharaka. It bears a message of goodwill and prosperity. Soon, the people of Tharaka will be up and about, eking out a living in farming, herding goats, sheep and cattle, keeping bees, fishing in rivers, harvesting sand, quarrying, among other economic activities. Tharaka is a friendly place to be, its people warm and hospitable. It is part of the Tharaka Nithi County, which lies on the leeward side of Mount Kenya. As a result, the region is mostly arid and semi-arid, at times going for up to two years with no rain. This makes the Tharaka people and their livestock depend on the Katheta and other rivers for their sustenance. Flowing from the slopes of Mount Kenya, the Katheta River cuts a meandering trajectory across the length and breadth of Meru and Tharaka Nithi counties. It empties its waters into Tana River, which then flows onward into the Indian Ocean. Besides sustaining life and driving forward the economy of Tharaka and parts of Meru, Katheta River is of paramount importance, culturally and spiritually, to the people of Meru and Tharaka Nithi counties. For ages, it has informed their way of life as it contains Ire, sacred sites where they commune with Murungu, God, and where the spirits of their ancestors rest. Traditionally, it is in these sacred sites, Ire, that prayers were held. Prayers to ask for blessings, prayers to cleanse the land, thanksgiving prayers, and so on. The Katheta River also played a central role in other cultural rites and ceremonies such as circumcision and marriage ceremonies. However, Katheta River is drying up. As it winds its way slowly to join Tana River, you can feel its lethargy, a sense of defeat. In some parts along its course, you can clearly see the riverbed as the river has been reduced to a mere trickle. At its confluence with the Tana River, Katheta presents a study in contrast in that it shyly enters the Tana River. It seems embarrassed at the little waters it gives the Tana because the tributaries opposite Katheta gush into the Tana in torrents. The Katheta River has been reduced to this sad state of affairs by multiple threats to it. These include pollution, diversion of its upstream water for irrigation, drying up of its tributaries, deforestation along its banks, sand harvesting, and climate change. Soon, Katheta River may turn into a distant memory with great ramifications to the people of Tharaka, their livestock and crops, and indeed, to life in the region. Fortunately, the custodians of sacred natural sites along the river are battling to save it and to preserve their way of life. They have memories of what the river once was, sparkling waters gushing across the land and greening the countryside, a robust community bursting with life. They believe that Katheta River can return to its former glory and once more the people will flourish. To create greater awareness about the plight of Katheta River, the custodians, drawn from Theraka and the neighboring Meru County, have been reviving the memories of the river in the past through community dialogue. They have identified 14 sacred sites along the course of the river from Mount Kenya to its confluence with the Tana River. They have revived the stories of their clans and sacred sites. They have been reflecting about the river in the scenarios of the past, present, and the future in the hope that these scenarios will intersect at a common point of departure for eventual restoration and protection of the river. Before the commencement of the ecocultural mapping process, traditional prayers are held at Diaire Sacred Natural Site to pray for the whole exercise to be a success. Diaire means the place of still deep waters. The custodians too ask for blessings for the whole community. They ask Murungu to bless the land for their crops and livestock to flourish. They pray for rain and prosperity. As they recollect memories of what the river once was, the air is punctuated with music and dance that soothes the soul and transports one to eons ago when all was bliss. The music for the present is sad and haunting, 
grieving for the destruction of Katheta River. One can only hope that the music and the dance for the future of Katheta will be full of life and vitality. Visitors too have come from far and wide to learn from the community about the process of eco-cultural mapping. They are informed by the realization that locally, secret natural sites are connected, and when one site is affected, all the others are affected too, thus bearing negatively on humankind as a whole. <laughs> Other sacred sites along Katheter River include Kiegege, Maragua, Ikwa, Ururoni, Manyirani, Mukwairuga, Gakuni, Diadungo, Iburagi, and Kivuka, all in Taraka. In Upper Katheta in Meru, we have Iriyankare, Iriyagakerere, and Iriyango. The presence of numerous sacred natural sites along the river is testament to the importance of the river as a way of life for the Taraka people. This lends urgency on the need to conserve and preserve the river for present and future generations. Sacred natural sites are places of bounty. Here plants with medicinal value abound, thus catering for the well-being of the people. Sacred natural sites also augur well for the preservation of biodiversity, as only indigenous seeds can be used in the ceremonies conducted here. These indigenous seeds are well adopted to the climate of the region and indeed to the pests and diseases as opposed to exotic crops which may be blighted out, thus exposing the whole community to the ravages of hunger. The eco-cultural mapping process too incorporates the local traditional seasons. These include Dano, Murado, Kiado and Dano. Dano is the dry season and activities for the season included preparing land for planting and conducting circumcision ceremonies. Murado is the season for heavy rains and is the season in which crops are planted and begin to flourish. Kiado season experiences mild sunshine, while Thano is the season for short rains. As the mapping process continues, challenges and successes are shared. Among the notable ones include tree planting exercises conducted all over Taraka and Meru. As one of the custodian remarks, wisdom is planting a tree whose shade of fruits you may never enjoy, but which your child and grandchildren or even strangers will. The selection of trees is done with utmost care to ensure that the trees being planted are indeed of benefit as the wrong selection of trees may prove harmful to the environment and to the people. These trees are mostly of indigenous species as they are well adopted to the climate change conditions of the region. Other measures employed by the custodians to conserve the environment and Katheter River 
include creating awareness on the need to build soil banks along Cathete River to arrest soil erosion, which ends up silting the river and making it even more vulnerable to drying up. Already, residents have begun embracing the concept as it is profitable both ways. It protects the river from silting while conserving the fertile soil for agriculture. However, a lot still needs to be done to conserve Cathedral River. Among them is the need for the custodians to be recognized by the government. Recognition from the government will mean that they have more leverage with which to lobby for their cause. Already, the custodians are angling for ways in which to take advantage of the Kenyan Constitution of 2010, which recognizes culture as a critical aspect of her people's identity. This includes Article 11.1, which recognizes culture as the foundation of the nation and as the cumulative civilization of the Kenyan people and nation. In moving forward, the community has identified actions that will need to be taken to realize their dream as embodied in the map of the future. Most important is distilling their traditional ecological laws, which they will ask the government to recognize so that they can be used alongside conventional laws in the protection of Cathedral River. Since they relate with sacred sites along clan lineages, they will revive and strengthen the clan governance system in the area to ensure sacred natural sites along Cathedral River are potentiated and protected through ritual practice. Kira nko na kena muimu, anto ba inge ba kau na mbisi na kagita po ya kari kagita kam kamere, na kagita ka kaka tore na ko, na kagita kara ka kaya tu aringa mbisi ni riza tu, iga tu teveria, kumenya tu atere rengira, tu choki, wewe muru tu tu choki, mara ma tu komba, mama ngi tu tu komba tu na ingere diri kari. Eh, tu na kido amoke kuchoka kagita po ya kari. Kwanza mete kuma mti Kenya, manga tara kwa manga tani riba ga. Tu anega tu yamu kita, riba wa riku, wa choka kai re, na yamu kena intuwe tu ena bio, na mai na mama 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 ngiwe, na mama tuwe tu kubana tu kanyamu kena bori, tu ba tu kubai tian bori, manga tu raga mire ni mato kai re. Iko kuto matu wa nte, tu kuto mite manyo, na tu kuto mato wa kia yamu kena kibuto ai kai re. They will also liaise with the National Museum of Kenya to have Cathita River gazetted as a sacred river and therefore be accorded greater protection. They will work with people whose land touches Cathita River to encourage them to protect the riparian reserve. Similarly, they will work with the relevant government agencies concerned to ensure the national laws for protection of rivers are implemented on Cathita River. They will conduct a broad-based awareness campaign among the people of the region to join hands to protect Cathedral River and other rivers, including collaborating with schools to provide requisite cultural education to the youth to ensure the rich culture is handed down to posterity. Finally, they will petition the Water Resources Management Authority office in Meru to reduce water intakes along the course of Cathedral River and enforce the licensing guidelines more strictly to ensure the river water volumes do not reach critically low levels in the dry season. This way, the rights of community members downstream will not be violated and incidences of conflict over water will become a thing of the past.